Hey guys, what's up Pisces? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So flip it how you need to. Also remember it's a general reading. So just take what's yours. Leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. Something's been on hold. And, I mean, that could be related to any area. And now, like, somebody is really stressing that. It's like wanting something, hoping for something, but worried about it. And it's, it's, it's kind of stuck there, but I don't know if it's necessarily... Um, we'll see. I don't know if it has to be stuck because of timing, or maybe it's not stuck. But it appears stuck. All right, Pisces, you got the tower, immediate future for Pisces, please. The eight of pentacles in the world. There's a big drive that's hitting right now, and it looks like there's a big change. Um, but the drive is actually progressive. Like, the drive is to move forward, to work on something. It could literally be career. But for the outcome, you got the world there, which is Capricorn energy. But with this big determination and drive it brings a lot of change it doesn't look like it's easy because it could be financially or somebody could have ghosted somebody could be oh shit all right let's just see because let's get into a whole nother story down there show me this tower please for pisces the queen of wands look at you could be dealing with the um fire sign doesn't have to be this is a big yeah and the empress like a big kind of take charge very confident you could be really busy you know just anything from work career just a, it's a whole confidence to family to home to you know may just going after something that it is what it is that you want but you have the queen of wands and the empress you're kind of like in this position where yeah, the Page of Pentacles, taking care of self. You're coming off as very beautiful, very attractive. You are doing the damn thing. Around money, it doesn't even matter. However, this is going to resonate because for some, there's like a job opportunity this year. It's going to bring, even relationships, this is bringing some serious kickback. Like whatever you're putting your time and energy into, you're getting that return off of. Like it's coming back um as like equally reciprocated so if it's a relationship then it's kind of like both sides working together if it's finances and career it's the big payoff type thing like you know making some money you could even be doing with that with someone else like a, a you know it could be like a husband wife or somebody's just really matching your energies you got the Eight of Swords and the Star, Aquarius energy. So, I mean, it kind of feels like this is something that you've been hoping for. You have a lot of people trying to get your attention. Just really pulling in the energy, like very magnetic. There is a little bit of worry um, on someone's part here around the Star card. And it kind of just feels like nervous because this is going really well. And it kind of feels like it may happen all of a sudden. Or, um, I should have looked at the where the planets are before I did this reading, but I didn't. But anyway, so it's bringing change. And, you know, sometimes with the Eight of Swords here, we worry, change can be worrisome, or our mind can just kind of, you know, worry. Show me that uh, world for the outcome for Pisces. What are you holding? For some, you're either like saving up money or you may be holding on to something there. Uh, something here on someone's side, maybe around this change. It's like going for fresh starts, new beginnings, but um, around finances, 
don't overspend. But also, it looks like you're taking charge going for what you want. But there's somebody who's holding on to something here. And that's where the hesitancy is going to come for the outcome here. You got the wheel. So the wheel is about divine timing, fate. But it's like for the outcome here, I don't know whose energy this is. It's, it's a little bit of a stall. And it's because with the fool here, that is about taking chances, optimistic, leap of faith. But with the nine of um, the nine of wands and the nine of swords and this eight of swords, it looks like there's something that like is really weighing on someone's mind that it's just it's 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 anxiety. And, you know, that there's something there to kind of be overcame um, for some. This could literally be physical anxiety like. That's rough. Um, so maybe meditate. Somebody's mind gets them into this very worried state when it comes to like opening up and accepting this change, possibly kind of letting the reins loose, so to speak, on something. And then the worry comes in. But you do have the wheel. Can I have um, one more for the outcome? The Seven of Swords. For some, um, you may just have to make a plan. For others, you may, you know, not trust the situation with the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords, you know, usually is a sneaky card, but there's like, so there could just be like a lot of paranoia around this. And I say that just, um, and remember, it's just a general reading, but... There's just so much worry that changed almost the whole vibe. So I'm sorry if that's this worry is you. But with the Nine of Wands there, that's the Wounded Warrior. That's down but not out. Just remain confident because you're coming off with doing your damn thing. So this could easily be, you know, me, somebody else's energy. I did see the emperor there and I see, yeah, the ten of swords around the emperor. So you could be moving on from, from something, someone, divine counterpart. All right, Pisces, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information's below as well. You guys take care and I will see you next time. Bye.